Oh hello, enjoyers of the Athon private jet. Today I'm going to show you a full flight from uh, Multiplayer Island to the Arctic using uh, all the proper procedures and all of that. So follow along if you want to know exactly what to do, how to fly this plane. It's not that hard anyways, but uh, here's a good explainer video. And I'm going to leave timestamps in the description. And, you t and YouTube's probably going to put the little divider bars in so you can skip to specific steps. Uh, sections that you're having a hard time understanding. And with that, let's get into the video. Open the door here. We'll hop the plane. And we'll run through the startup procedures. First, what you're going to want to do is main battery. APU run. That's this switch. Set up lights. That means you want to get your lights on how you want them. Cabin lights. Get that overhead light here. And since we're taxiing, I'll put the taxi lights on. APU accessory power. Put that on. Enable engine. Hit the switches. Starter system on. Scroll down here and start our engines. Once you have that done, you can turn off the starter systems. Confirm that all green lights are on, all engines are on over there. turn on our engine accessory power. That gives power to the airplane's components and allows other stuff to happen. We turn off our APU accessory power and we can uh, turn off our APU at this point. Next we can set up our heaters. We're going to turn enable heat on since we have uh, power from the engines, we can enable that. And cockpit and cabin heat is on. Turn on our, our auxiliary tank. This allows us to have even more range. And we're going to go taxi throttle, parking brake off, and we're going to be on the next page. So, release that parking brake, and we're just going to use any keys we want, one or two arrow keys using throttle, and it'll tell us right on our heads of display here what throttle setting we're at. So now we can simply just drive it like a car using our left and right arrow keys here and have a smooth taxi to the runway. I'll kick it up a bit to throttle setting 7. Thanks to the new FADEX system, uh, throttle settings are much better done and throttle response has been increased tenfold. Because before you were controlling the actual fuel flow into the engines, now you're controlling an, a set RPS with a uh, custom FADEX control. Uh, that's been designed for this aircraft for super uh, low latency inputs and uh, no stalling when you pull back the throttle. Once we get into the runway, we're going to go through autopilot setup and uh, takeoff procedures. Um, so we'll get the autopilot set up there, and then once we're in the sky, uh, we'll enable the autopilot and show how to enable those features that we set up uh, before we take off here. No traffic over there. I got all the AI turned off. And the throttle is back to idle now. You may hear that the engines are still running. Uh, this is a great upgrade from other systems. The main reason why I thought uh, did not get FADEC until uh, this third generation. It was due to uh, stalling issues of other PID controls. But a simple clamp put at the bottom value of like 0 0.0001 uh, seems to keep the engines running. So we'll engage the parking brake here. We'll set up our autopilot altitude here. And so this is every 100 meters. It's currently set to 100 meters. Bring it up. 
cruise today at 800 meters, but it will go into the sink, uh, double digits here, uh, all the way up to 9,900 meters. But 800 meters is good. Then we want to set our heading select to our runway heading, um, which is just a good practice to do. And we can actually take off. Uh, you can, we can enable both these autopilots and take off, and it'll automatically uh, take us off uh, once the speed's high enough. Uh, but today we'll just do a manual takeoff so I can show how these systems are engaged. Next, I'm going to go to the map and select our waypoint here. We'll probably go to the Creative Island. I think that'll be our flight for today. We can, of course, go to the Arctic, but I think this is a better destination. So I'll put on my waypoint keyboard here. And if the co pilot is doing navigation, he could also put it over there. And these keyboards are completely separate. Uh, tied into the same system, so you can actually store two waypoints and switch in between these. So next, we're going to go flaps one for takeoff. Doors are shut. You can see that panel over there uh, shows that we have no open exterior doors. Uh, make sure our APU is off. APU is not active. Turn on our tr uh, traffic collision avoidance system here. Uh, I'll explain that more when we're flying. Scroll down, set up our lights, take the taxi lights off here, parking brake off, take off power. Alright, parking brake off, normal take off position. Just keep it on the center line. Once we get a line on the screen there, the green around 130, you can pull back, and we're off. Gear up, flaps up, flaps, handing gear, enable autopilot, we'll enable our altitude holding features, and our heading holding features. See now, we, our autopilot is uh, set, at least one of those features, but both those features are on. And we are ascending to 800 meters, we can see the tick there of where we're going to, and the tick there of the heading we are holding and the offset from it. Set up our lights again. Um, get the seatbelt sign off. Check that our gear is up. It is no longer in transit. The landing gear page shows all three are good. So we're good there. Check our fuel levels. Go to our fuel page, click on total. You can see that we're topped up. Uh, we have 50 minutes of flight time here on this throttle setting uh, with a range of about 400 kilometers. Next page is going to be our landing checklist, so obviously we'll do that later. But to get to our destination, uh, we're going to need to go waypoint autopilot. So we want to cycle to the HSI here, and this will show us the horizon our horizontal situation. And then we can switch from heading select to waypoint navigation by hitting, so for this keyboard, by hitting this button. Now we are going to be set on this heading here, um, and those two should line up. Here's our current heading. Here's the heading we need to go to to get to our destination. We have our ground speed indicator and we have the kilometers uh, to our destination. So currently the plane is uh, turning as well as banking us uh, towards where we need to go. And then once it gets on course, uh, it will stay on course. Uh, once it gets there, if you don't turn it off, it will just circle around the target. And you see we're now on the correct line. And we're all set in nominal here. And for more autopilot instruction, the co-pilot also has the ability to show the map here. It's all dependent on what you cycle it to. And so, and then they can put coordinates in here and see the display. And they can also switch the coordinates over to the co-pilot keyboard. 
zero zero is a great coordinate. But they can also do that. So that's how you load your secondary set of coordinates is from the copilot keyboard. But now for the flight to our destination, we'll throttle up all the way to cruise throttle sixty five. But since we want to get there quickly, uh, you can fly completely totally fine at max throttle. If we go to the uh, engine screen here, we can see that it's going to throw up the way. It's going to overshoot it slightly at these uh, higher RPS values, but it will, uh, after about two minutes, uh, pull the throttle back and it'll level out at 99.7% uh, throttle. Quite a speedy flight, isn't it? As you can see, we are nearing our waypoint. We're about 16 kilometers out here. Before we get to our waypoint, I want to explain uh, what some of the things mean on the displays. Uh, this is our uh, speed knots here on the PFD. Uh, this is our altitude, and R represents our radar altitude. And again, these ticks uh, show us where the autopilot is set to. We're approaching on about 10 kilometers out from our destination now. Drop down the cruise altitude to 500 meters. And as you can see, Forming a descent here at a maximum vertical speed of 15 meters per second. And you see we're leveling out. And we level out around our set altitude. It has an offset so it's a little higher rather than a little lower to account for lower throttle settings requiring more angle of attack from the aircraft. We can also see that I was correct in the throttle leveling out in 99.7 and a perfect 70 RPS. We are now at our destination airport. We are going to throttle back to a throttle setting of 30 for general maneuvering. And we are also going to follow our checklist. Autopilot off. Disengage your autopilot here. Flaps setting to two. Landing assist on, and our gear should be down. Turn on landing assist, landing gear down. Landing assist is our new breakthrough technology that controls uh, roll, throttle, and brakes all automatically during uh, landing and descent. Uh, in order to offer uh, smoothish landings every time, um, but also re reduces pilot workload a ton and allows for uh, much better and safer landings in instrument conditions, uh, as well as on uh, poor internet connections. So you use rudder and pitch for the entire descent. See I'm using rudder here. And we're just gonna turn around to the runway. Just keep our nose up. And I don't even have to worry about speed or anything or throttle or brakes keeping the plane stable. I basically just, you know, use the rudder, keep it moving. Now that we're semi-lined up with the runway here, let's start descending a little bit. Use the rudder to start to turn back in towards the runway. mostly lined up right now.
right now, we're just gonna aim at the runway, and the system will do the landing, braking, and flaring the rest of the stuff for us. Just pulling that throttle, flaring the aircraft. It set us down. We still have rudder control. And now you can see it's slowly throttling us back. And we have completed our flight here. And then, landing assist turns itself off. And we can go back up to taxi throttle and taxi to our parking spot here. start pulling the throttle back once my nose reaches the hangar door. Then I'm going to use button 6 to activate the tow brakes. Which is our temporary brakes here that brakes just the rear wheels. Perfect. Parking brake on. And we are landed. Taxi tunnel. We're gonna pull up our flaps here and do the shutdown checklist. Our parking brake is on. Our throttle is set to idle. Auxiliary tank is off. Our heaters are off. Engine accessory power is coming off. To disable our engines now. Disable our lights. Disable our battery. And our checklist is complete. Thank you if you made it to the end of the video. Oh, that happens a lot. Hold on. Uh. Yeah, Stormworks. Thank you if you made it to the end of the video. Watch. If I get outside the plane, it'll open. Yeah, told you. Thank you to everyone who made it to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the flight. And hope you guys, um used this aircraft and uh, got something out of this video that wasn't in the description. Um, so anyways, that's it. See ya.